Hi, this is Katie Samuel, your favorite snow farmer. I'm laughing because it's been a while. It's been uh, over a year, almost two years since we made a video to discuss, you know, the substance in, in, in snow farming. But I'm back. That's the good thing. So stay tuned. Today we're going to talk about a lot. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. So for the past um, one year, I, I got a lot of calls. I mean... For the past one year got a lot of calls a lot of texts a lot of comments a lot of questions so we're gonna start a new segment it's gonna be um we're gonna be discussing why snow farms are collapsing so we're gonna break it into pieces we're gonna talk about the little 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 things that you barely see on, on youtube we're gonna digest them and make you understand why probably you're having this result or that results and so make sure you follow um uh each sequence that we bring out to get the, the you know the whole the whole juice but today we're going to talk about soil soil and it's a very important topic something very crucial in snow farming but a lot of people you know they undermine it they think it's not important but it's very very important now before we go into the the discussion a lot of people know that for more than a year i haven't done a physical training when it comes to snow farming i haven't done a training in one year and i'm likely to have a training in kumase ghana in june this year so if you're interested you should uh, send a message to the number below on the screen uh, if you send a message to um that number will get back to you with all the details um that you would need to be able to attend my my first of our physical training in about a year or two years hope to see you there if you're also i um, mean around the world and you want to attend my training but you cannot make it fiscally in june you can always reach out to me every month i do online training um and so you can sign up and then we will do an online training and uh, hopefully you reach out to us to be able to join and get the knowledge like i always say the knowledge is more important than even getting the, the the financial capital because if you have the money and you have no knowledge it's zero you're going to lose all that money and as you may know agriculture is one of the quickest way to make money but also one of the quickest way to lose money so make sure you have all the knowledge before you go into any agricultural enterprise so over the past one year, so many farms have collapsed. Be it net housing, you know, uh, gallery housing system, the pen system. So many farms have collapsed, and I like I like it when the the issues of your farm are things you have control over, and not things you cannot have control over, like the environment, like the temperature which is another thing we'll be discussing in maybe the part two of these segments that we have just started. But today we're going to be talking about soil. Now, soil is the base that snails dwell in. And uh, whether you're a Christian, Muslim, or you're, an, you're even an atheist, this is something that is easy for you to understand. Now, I know that there's a, there's a lot of um, upgrade uh, in technology new things are coming up but also there are some things that you just cannot do away from nature and snails are, are, are one of those things in fact farming snails is one of the toughest things you can do it's like farming fish very tedious very you have to be very careful everything has to sort of be calculated you have to that's why sometimes in some of my videos i say you need to have a relationship with the snails because you need to understand why this is happening and that is not happening. So when we talk about soil in nature or in the wild, these snails live in the soil by God's nature. And if, you, if you're an atheist, then by science, these land snails dwell in the soil i know there's so many type of snails but we're talking about land snails and we're also bringing it down to the akatina 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 marginata and the fulica you know these snails naturally they live in the soil most of the time i mean 
on the soil and in the soil. Now, when it's dry season, these snails would burrow holes in the soil and go and live there. Now, the reason why they do this during the dry season is because, um, one, the atmosphere is very dry. And as you may know already, snails require atmospheric humidity to be able to maneuver. And that is why when a snail walks past you, you would realize there are traces of their slime because they need that moisture to be able to travel. So when the atmosphere becomes dry, their skin dries up. And so maneuvering becomes difficult. They're going to have cuts on their skin, which can cause what? Mortality. Hence, God in his own wisdom, or science in its own wisdom, um, said these snails must burrow holes in the soil and stay there. And then they go into something we call estivation, which I have spoken about on this channel before. Now, it is not just for the atmospheric humidity, which has substantially reduced, but also because during the dry season, um, other animals find snail to be one of the easiest prey. They prey on them and then, and then use them for their feed. At the same time, the snail is, is, not, is not finding food or water during the dry season. So God said, look, you need to make a hole in the ground and stay there to remain safe. And that is how Mr. Snail survives. So, looking at these, you would realize that one major important reason why you need soil in your farm is because the snails need to survive when there's harsh conditions in your farm. So if you're not using soil and they, are, they, are, they feel like the weather has changed, the temperature has changed, the atmospheric humidity has changed, where are your snails going to find habitat in your farm? And that is why it's important for you to get soil in your farm. Number two, you cannot just use any soil in your farm because they said use soil. There are different types of soil. So there's clay soil, there's loamy soil, which some people call black soil, and there's also sandy soil. And so many things uh, become a factor in this discussion. Now, clay soil... The reason why it's not, it's not favorable for your snails is that it's, it's able to hold water, but hold water too much that the place becomes swampy. Now, if it becomes swampy, what it means is that the snails can, uh, they can drown and die in these small puddles of water. Two, um, snails eat soil. They eat the soil for their calcium sometimes, you know, and loamy soil has a lot of um, organic matter that the snails feed on. So when it is clay, clay does not have a lot of that organic matter. Also, clay can also become very hard and it becomes difficult for snails to penetrate when they feel uncomfortable about the weather uh, uncomfortable about the, the atmospheric humidity. Sometimes when they're even uncomfortable with, with the, the water you're giving them, the amount of feed you're giving them, and so they need to survive. Um, if you have clay soil, they'll be uncomfortable. They will not be able to burrow holes. And so they would succumb to all the harsh conditions they're going through in your farm. And you will be recording mortality. Now let me talk about sandy soil. So imagine the beach sand. Um, you know how it feels the moment you pour a full bottle of water on the sandy soil at the beach. You'd see that it's not able to hold water because, again, it does not have a lot of the organic matter that you would find in a loamy or black soil. And so sandy soil, one, the snails cannot even eat part of it to survive. Um, they also cannot uh burrow i mean they can burrow holes into the soil but it is not something that is comfortable for them uh number three 
when it comes to sandy soil, it cannot hold a lot of water. And so any soil that cannot hold a lot of water cannot also condition the temperatures in, in your pen or in your farm because water easily run, runs through the soil. And so that is why you cannot also use sandy soil for your snails. It quickly dries up and it cannot hold water. On the other hand, if you look at the loamy soil or black soil, it has a lot of organic matter. And so it is rich in certain minerals that the snails love to consume for calcium. And so if you do snail farming, you would realize that periodically your soil begins to reduce because the snails sometimes eat the soil. Also, when it comes to the black or loamy soil, it's able to hold a lot of water. You can, you can irrigate it with a whole bucket of water and it will hold it perfectly Hence, making the soil cool in temperature. Hence, making the whole uh, pen or farm cool in temperature, which is favorable to your snails. You see, eventually we will talk about the environment that snails feel comfortable in. But you see, these are the things we need to ponder on. When you're doing farming, you need to, you need to read extensively and understand what you're farming and the temperatures they feel comfortable in. Because it's common sense that anytime you want snails or you need snails, there are certain locations that you would have to travel to to get those snails. It's for a reason. It's not, it's not because it just happened. It's for a reason. Because there are factors that propagate um, their multiplication and then there are deductions in certain location. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to you. So loamy soil is very important. You cannot do away with it. And that is why I tell people, if you're setting up a snow farm, you must look for a location where you can get um, uh, loamy or black soil in abundance. You cannot keep buying loamy soil. You will need a place where you're going to get the loamy soil or you need to manufacture your own loamy soil by mixing, uh, mixing natural stuff with the soil and leaving it over months to decay and, and you know, build your own uh, uh, loamy soil. So this is, this is what I wanted to talk to you about today. It is very, very important. A lot of people downplay it. But for somebody like me who understands the ins and outs of, of farming snails, it's, it's quite worrying that a lot of people think all you need to do is find a base, any soil, and then just dump your snails there. No. No. A lot has to go into a lot of calculation and thoughts have to go into it. it's just like just like when you want to farm f fish and you just go and get any water and put them in there no and even the soil that we're talking about just like fish farming every every few months you need to change the soil just like fish farming after a point the water becomes high in ammonia similar to snails you're confining them in a space so as you're confining them and they are taking a shit, sorry for my language, but I have to use it. So long as they're taking a shit, you're, you're irrigating the farm, you're putting feed, uh, which some of you don't even have time to take out the leftover feed, you're putting dry leaves as mulch, all that mixture, after a while, what do you think it becomes? It becomes like a fertilizer, it becomes high in acid. And so you have to take out the soil and replace it. And it is this kind of work that people do not want to do, and so they choose the easy way out. It's okay if, if, if uh, your easy way out uh, makes sense, but if it doesn't make sense until then, try to do the right thing to make your business survive. Honestly, I hope today you have learned something. Um, if you have any questions, leave the questions in the comment section, uh, and I will answer them. Or you can also reach out to me on my, I mean, in my email, samuelcoranting30 at gmail.com. You can also send me a WhatsApp text um, to the number below your screen. You can send me a text and when I have time, when I see it, I will respond. Um, like I said, always make sure you have all the knowledge before you go into any farming. It's not just no farming, any farming venture or enterprise make sure you have the knowledge hope to see you next time i love you guys bye